Hey Rainbow Gang, welcome to Wednesday. Kaylee and Brianna picked the topic today, and it's, well, this week. Um, and it's all about what we love about being LGBTQ or queer or whatever you want to call it. Um, I could only really think of three things that Kaylee didn't really mention because she mentioned a lot. So did Brianna, and I mean, I don't want to repeat what they said, but, you know, a lot of them were on there, like kissing girls. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just, you know, having fun being LGBT. Q. <laughs> anyway, um, so the first one that I want to talk about is, um, the wow factor. Whenever you come out to somebody, it's either like, oh, I knew that already, or sometimes you get the people who are like, what? Oh my god, I didn't even know, oh my gosh, and they freak right out, and you're just like, really? You didn't know? I mean, I don't hide it that much, but that's happened to me before, and I don't really understand, because if I were to see me and not know myself then I would think I was a lesbian. And I mean, it might just be that my gaydar is really good, but a lot of times I tell people that I'm gay or it comes up in conversation and if they don't know me previously, then they'll be like, oh my god, really, you are? I'm like, how could you not tell? Like, oh my gosh. But anyway, um, and that sort of leads me to my second one, which is um, the easy ways of recognizing each other. I don't know any other community out there that has so many symbols and like flags and colors and different things that represent us than the LGBTQ community. Like we've got the rainbows, of course, rainbow gang, and there's the pink triangle for lesbianism. You can get the two like women symbols together, the two male symbols together. There's like, you know, all the different pride flags. You've got the ones for pansexuals and the ones for gender queers and the ones for just everything. It's like has some sort of symbol so if you see someone wearing that little symbol you know you sort of recognize each other and you acknowledge that you are in the presence of another queer person and it's this you know this little thing that you just love that feeling of knowing that you know you sort of connect to this person on a level that you don't connect to straight people with because you know being a part of the queer community it just you feel sort of interconnected to all the other people in the queer community I think and I mean that might just be the way I feel but you know, I think it's great. Um, and that also reminds me of this one time, it was a few weeks ago at the regional tournament at Forensics, which I got first place at, by the way. Um, not that I'm bragging, but yeah, I was a regional champ. But anyway, um, there was this other guy there from another team that were coming just to visit and scout and just to check out the competition and stuff. And one of the guys on the other team, he was gay, and I didn't know it at first, but then other people on my team were, like, talking about it. Um, and so, like, later at dinner, we all went out to dinner afterwards, and that team came and ate dinner at the same restaurant. So everyone was just hanging out and mingling, and we actually got along with that team very well, but there was this one kid, and he came over, and he was sitting right next to me, and he, like, reached over, and he, like, hugged me, and he's like, what do I have to do to get some of your french fries and stuff? And I was just like, ooh, sexual favors. And then I was like, nah, just kidding. And then, you know, we were talking and stuff, and then he looked down at this bracelet that Stephanie got me, and was like, is that what I think it's for and I was like yep and he's like so are you and I'm like yep and I was like are you and he's like yep and so you know we sort of connected on that level because we have these little things that you know remind us of each other and when you see someone wearing a rainbow or some other sort of pride symbol you kind of think you know hey um and then my last one lesbros I know Kaylee sort of was talking about you know being one of the guys but I love having the guy friends who, like, are so into having you as a lesbian friend. It's, it's weird. I mean, I don't know if any other, like, if a straight girl can have that sort of friendship connection with a guy because usually it eventually turns into something more. Not always, of course, but sometimes. Most of the time, it turns into something romantic. And I'm lucky because I have a really good lesbro. Uh, his name is Zach. And he's so funny and he's so supportive and... He's just great, and I love having him as a lesbro, you know? I mean, lesbros are better than any friend that any lesbian can ask for, you know? So, yeah. Lesbros are cool. If you don't have a lesbro, go out and get one. And my dog wants in. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go now. I will talk to you all later. Um, please ask us questions on Form Spring. We don't have any this week, but whatever. Anyway, um, I will talk to you all next week, and stay gay.